Hi everyone and welcome to our Sunday gathering of Camden Baptist Church. We're really missing not being together, but it's great that we can gather as church in our own homes and worship together. Today our worship songs have been chosen by Alan Slough. Edward will be speaking to us and leading us in communion. We also have some of our young people taking part in our service today. Today is Palm Sunday. We remember Jesus coming to Jerusalem before the events of Holy Week. I want to read from Luke and from chapter 19 and his version of Jesus coming to Jerusalem. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethphage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If any one of you asks, if anyone asks, why are you untying it, say, The Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? They replied, The Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the colt, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began to joyfully praise God in loud voices for the miracles they had seen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, Jesus replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it and said, If you, even you, had only known on this day what would bring you peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. The days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment against you and encircle you and hem you in on every side. They will dash you to the ground, you and the children within your walls. They will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognise the time of God's coming to you. As we gather to worship, we will not allow the stones to cry out. We're going to worship together as we sing these songs. (laughs) 